Nowadays, a big percentage of shopping and paying bills is conducted online. And did you know that around two thirds of adults worldwide use a money transfer system to move their money around from one place to another with just a few clicks on their phone or computer? Using an electronic funds transfer is a way of doing it. But what is an electronic funds transfer? And why do people use one? In today's video, we will be taking a look at what is an electronic funds transfer, how do you use an electronic funds transfer, and what rules and regulations do electronic funds transfers have to follow. Hello, and welcome to another KYC Lookup video where we bring you AML related content to help you enhance your knowledge in the fight against money laundering. Before diving into today's video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Oh, and don't forget to leave us a comment with any suggested topics you would like us to cover in the future. So, on to today's video. What is an electronic funds transfer? Electronic funds transfer, EFT, refers to the electronic movement of money from one bank account to another. It is a fast and secure way of transferring funds without the need for paper-based checks, wire transfers or cash transactions. EFTs can be used for a variety of purposes, including direct deposits of salaries, bill payments, online shopping and lots more. How does an electronic funds transfer work? There are two types of EFTs, automated clearing house, ACH, and wire transfers. ACH transfers are used for reoccurring payments, such as utility bills, mortgage payments, and insurance premiums. They are typically processed in batches and can take a few days to clear. Wire transfers, on the other hand, are used for urgent or high value payments, such as international transfers or large business transactions. They are processed instantly and can be more expensive than ACH transfers. To initiate an EFT, the sender must provide the recipient's bank account details, including the account number and routing number or sort code. The funds are then transferred electronically from the sender's account to the recipient's account. EFTs are typically processed through secure networks, such as the Federal Reserve System or the Clearinghouse Interbank Payment System, CHIPS, to ensure the security of the transaction. EFTs offer several benefits over traditional payment methods. They are faster, more convenient, and on the whole, more secure than paper-based transactions. They also eliminate the need for physical checks, which can be lost or stolen, and reduce the risk of fraud. In addition, EFTs are environmentally friendly, as they eliminate the need for paper-based transactions. Can electronic funds transfers be used to launder money? Electronic fund transfer EFT is a commonly used method for transferring funds electronically between bank accounts. Like any financial transaction, it can be used to launder money, but it is important to note that EFT is subject to the same anti-money laundering, AML, regulations and monitoring as other financial transactions. Laundering money through EFT typically involves transferring illicit funds from one bank account to another in a series of complex transactions that make it difficult to trace the original source of the funds. This can involve moving money through multiple accounts in different countries or using shell companies to disguise the source of the funds. However, financial institutions are required by law to implement AML controls and to monitor transactions for suspicious activity. This includes monitoring EFTs to detect and prevent money laundering. Banks are required to report any suspicious transactions to the relevant authorities, 
and failure to do so can result in significant penalties. In addition, many countries have regulations in place that require banks to verify the identity of their customers and to conduct due diligence on transactions that involve high-risk customers or countries. This can help to prevent criminals or other high-risk individuals from using EFTs to launder money. Overall, while EFT can be used to launder money, the risk of detection is high due to AML regulations and monitoring by financial institutions. Moreover, EFTs are a safe, efficient and cost-effective way of transferring funds. They have become an essential part of modern banking and are widely used by individuals and businesses alike. As technology continues to evolve, we can expect to see more innovative payment methods that rely on electronic transfer of funds. The benefits of investing in electronic funds transfer. Electronic funds transfer, EFT, has several benefits for individuals and businesses who choose to invest in this payment method. Convenience. EFT allows for quick and easy payment transfers between bank accounts, eliminating the need for physical cash or checks. This can save time and reduce the risk of errors and delays associated with traditional payment methods. Cost effective. EFT transactions are typically less expensive than other payment methods, such as wire transfers or paper checks. This can save individuals and businesses money on transaction fees and processing costs. Security. EFT transactions are processed electronically and are typically more secure than physical payments. This can reduce the risk of fraud and theft associated with traditional payment methods. Speed. EFT transfers can be processed quickly, often within hours or even minutes, depending on the financial institution's involvement. This can be especially beneficial for businesses that need to make time-sensitive payments. Accessibility. EFT is widely accepted by financial institutions and is accessible for individuals and businesses around the world, making it a convenient payment method for international transactions. And accuracy. EFT transfers are processed electronically, reducing the risk of errors and ensuring accurate payment processing. Overall, Investing in EFT can provide individuals and businesses with a cost-effective, secure and convenient payment method that can save time and reduce the risk of errors and delays associated with traditional payment methods. Rules and Regulations for Electronic Funds Transfer Electronic Funds Transfer, EFT, is subject to various rules and regulations to ensure its safety, security and reliability. Some of the key rules and regulations governing EFTs include Electronic Funds Transfer Act, EFTA. This federal law regulates EFT transactions and establishes rights and liabilities for consumers and financial institutions. It also requires financial institutions to provide disclosures to consumers regarding their rights and responsibilities when using EFT. Regulation E. This regulation, issued by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, CFPB, implements the EFTA and establishes requirements for financial institutions regarding EFT disclosures, error resolution, and unauthorised transactions. Bank Secrecy Act, BSA. This federal law requires financial institutions to establish anti-money laundering, AML programmes, to detect and prevent money laundering and other financial crimes, including those involving EFT. Office of Foreign Asset Control, OFAC regulations. These regulations prohibit financial institutions from processing transactions 
with individuals or entities that are subject to economic sanctions or other restrictions imposed by the US government. Payment Card Industry Data Security Standards PCI DSS These standards establish requirements for businesses that process credit card payments to ensure the security of cardholder data. National Automated Clearinghouse Association NACHA Rules These rules govern the use of the ACH network which is used to process many EFT transactions in the United States. They establish requirements for financial institutions regarding ACH transactions including fraud detection and prevention measures. European Union's Payment Service Directive PSD2 This regulation provides a framework for electronic payments across the European Union and establishes requirements for strong customer authentication and secure communication. As you can see, like any other financial institution, EFTs must follow strict AML rules and regulations to ensure their customers are safe and transferring their funds legally. Well, there you have it. What is an electronic funds transfer? How do you use an electronic funds transfer? And what rules and regulations do electronic funds transfers have to follow? Please let us know in the comments section if you think using an EFT is safe and secure or any other topics you would like us to cover in the future. We have now launched our very own courses for you to take a more in-depth look at a variety of subjects, such as Introduction to AML, Beneficial Ownership and Customer Risk Rating, for example. So make sure you visit our website for further details. And let us help you connect the dots in KYC. Thank you for watching the video. And if you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe to watch more amazing videos.